I need God to help you to raise your standard of anointing. Isaiah 10, 27, it says, it shall come to pass in that day. Say that day. Oh, thank you, Lord. The anointing does not take days to break yokes. In that day, in that day, in that day. It's just that we have not hit the right level in the spirit. We're going to pray today and raise the anointing until it gets to a point where it can destroy the yoke in one day. In one day. The right level of fire will break that yoke. Be it the yoke of your brother be it the yoke of your father, be it the yoke, whatever yoke it is, it can be broken because of the anointing. But it takes the correct anointing, the correct anointing, the correct anointing. Stretch your hands, say, Father, give me the correct anointing. Put the right anointing upon me. Enough anointing to break every yoke operating in my life. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost with my hands lifted up, I cry out for another level of grace. Pour more grace. Pour more power upon me. I need the right level of power. Enough power to break every yoke. Raise your hands and begin to pray. Raise your hands and pray. Pray. You need another level of the anointing. Another level of power. Another level. Another dimension. Another dimension of the anointing. Come on, pray. Baya no zashota bahaya. Laya teka bazo shati andala mahaya. Ye laya teka tola tola mando mahaya. Yo kapati andala bakote bahaya. Yaya ne kapatola di andala makota mahaya. Maya andama kota mazo shabahaya. Listen, how do we know there's an anointing? We know there's an anointing not because people fall in church, but because people rise on the marketplace. The anointing, proof of the anointing is results, not drama in church. Results, say results. Say I want results. Uh, after the power of God comes upon me in church, I want that power to go with me on the marketplace and it must produce results. I want that power to produce results in marriage. I want that power to turn into A stars in school. Somebody say a genuine anointing produces results. We're going to pray that you will have enough anointing on you for results. Listen, in Genesis 27, he said, when you become restless, when you become restless, verse 14 and 41, when you become, and see, but your sword, by your sword you shall live and you shall serve your brother. You see, in other words, you will always be beneath your brother. Huh? And it shall come to pass when you become restless that you will break that yoke of serving your brother. He told him the prophecy, hello, which was not positive, but he also told him the solution. Listen, if you become restless, you rise above your family members. Ah, it's not a competition. It's not a competition. But many of them are not serving God. Are you hearing me? I refuse to remain under those who are not serving God. I, I don't know if somebody is in this service. I declare and I decree in your life, as you become spiritually restless, as you become spiritually aggressive, anything called a yoke in your life, anything holding you down must break. There's levels of success you'll never get to until you break something. There's something that is stopping you. We need to break it. We don't want to discuss it. We want to break it. I want to help them as I'm helping you. Are you here? Now, Job 5. Job 5, verse 12. He says, he frustrates devices of the craft. So that their hands cannot carry out their plans. Say devices. Say devices. So, many times what the enemy does is he places devices. This is one of the things I asked you to deal with on Wednesday. 
He places devices on you that track your movements. If you have a, a device, like let's call it a bug. I mean, you know bug? Okay, now, by bug, I mean something that listens into your conversation. This one. Okay, like a bug in a chance and a spy. Now, those devices are real in the realm of the spirit. So you can have a device put on you. Hello? So that on evil altars, they can hear everything that you are doing. Now, this is what you then say, Panichin, you go pura pura. There's something moving. Normally, that thing moves on your foot, on your hand, or on your shoulder. Am I right? So the Holy Spirit has said to me, all these three have devices. And they have devices. They have devices. If you have a tracking device that comes on your hands, are you listening to me? Something moving on your hands. It means that whenever you get money, a report goes in the kingdom of darkness. And some of you just begin to lose money. Or when you are about to receive money. Are, are, you, are you still here? Okay. There are relatives who ask you for money. And the time they ask you for money is when you have money. How do they know? How do they know? Why do their problems coincide with your money? Why? Why do their problems coincide with you receiving money? How do they know? The day you receive money, Raise your hand. Say, I refuse to be monitored. monitored. Spiritually. By relatives. Holy Ghost fire. Release your power upon me. Every tracking device. Tracking my resources. Holy Ghost fire. Release your power upon that device. That device it must expire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Yes. 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 Uh. Are you praying? Listen. Listen. If we pray right, you will not be monitored. If you are monitored, that's why all of those transactions, they fail last minute. It's like they fail at the same point. It is because you are being monitored. Please believe what I'm saying. Don't say this is superstition. This is real. If this was not real, these people would not be manifesting. My device, listen. Genesis 49. There is what is called the yoke of instability instability. Reuben, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel. So as long as you are not stable, you don't move forward. Financial instability. One. Marital instability. Two. Mental instability. Three. Sexual instability. Four. Spiritual instability. Five. We are going to break those powers of instability. Never mind praying about thou shalt not excel if you have not destroyed instability. Because as long as you are unstable, you will not excel. Spiritually unstable. Financially unstable. Meritary unstable. Sexually unstable. When you are sexually unstable, you can sleep with anyone at any time. We are going to break that power. We are going to break that power of instability. When, when you are financially unstable, you have customers today, no customers tomorrow. We want to break the power that scatters. Listen, if you have consistent customers, you'll be financially stable. We are going to break the power of instability. Don't say I prayed it before. We are going to pray it again. Raise your right hand. Imagine how many churches are unstable. 
But I don't boy, I don't boy, the honey love. I'm going to break that power. This is your biggest prayer point, Tisha. Is. Instability. Marital instability. Marital instability translates to financial instability. Because where there's no unity, there's no money. So we are going to break the power, watch this, of instability in relationships. Help, 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 help. Joshua did the prayer already. I am here to set you free. When God gives you a destiny helper, watch out for relationship instability. Because as long as your relationship with that helper is not stable, your supplies are not stable. There are people who are assigned to supply into your life by God. When he says, I'll give men for your life, those men are not just coming there to hang around. They are coming to bring supplies. Are you here? So the enemy fights you by fighting your relationships. There, listen, <laughs> there are people who you would rather be right than blessed. So you can win an argument and lose your destiny help. Even if your destiny helper is wrong, <laughs> it's okay. What are you trying to prove to your destiny helper? <laughs> what are you trying to prove to someone who's got a signature to your next level? I said, even if your destiny helper is wrong, what are you trying to prove? If you prove to your boss that is wrong, and he realizes that you have proved it to him, he will try and prove to you that is the boss. <laughs> Only one will win that argument. Well, win on us. You prove to your customer that they, they don't know what they're doing. just helped you because you are addicted to being right. <laughs> I would rather look like a fool today but get something from that person tomorrow. Don't shut the door to your helper by being right. Many, many cannot even swallow their saliva right now. <laughs> Where is your right hand? So a lot of instability is because you are addicted to being right. Do you know some things you lose nothing by ngonyarana? You want to prove Where is your right hand? A boyfriend, girlfriend relationship that is unstable will never lead to marriage. So when you get to the point of your near marriage, instability kicks in. And even if he or she was sure, they begin to question. Now, see, your, 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 your face has dropped. Either it has happened many times or it is happening right now. I'm no longer sure. Someone can even be no longer sure. So a ring on your finger it does not mean stability is there. We are going to pray against the power of relational instability. Watch this. It starts at home and also spills onto the marketplace. If you are used to fighting with your spouse, it's easy to fight with your customer. He said, I was fighting with my wife this morning. Who do you think you are? What you're not understanding is that it is a spirit. It is moved from the home onto the charity begins. Instability begins. Hallelujah. For poverty to come, you have to fight people. 
for poverty to come, you have to fight people. Why should you be angry at someone with money? Why should I go to Russia? There are poor people everywhere. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being honest. Because Ah, directions, which you can find on Google Maps. Don't look at me like that. I'm not the one who created poverty. I said, what makes you angry at your boss is a spirit of poverty. Why can't you be angry at your peers or at the cleaner? No, boss, no, I don't know. Imagine if Ruth was angry at Boaz. This is not going to be a good thing. Good Ruth. We need Boaz. As Ruth, you are not qualified to rebuke Boaz. You can go to the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost can deal with him. Let him make this mistake. You want to prove a point. What are you trying to prove? Are you listening to me? And people do this with major customers. You want to be the one to show that customer that no, you, you, you are known as You have cooked your dish, chef on duty. Hello? The customer doesn't like it. You say, no, that's how I cook. They will tell you to go and cook elsewhere. If you are cooking for me, cook what I want, not what you learned in cooking school. Maybe my, ta my taste buds are not the same as the people who approved your cooking. So you want to enforce your cooking on me show you that I'm the best in my opa. Who can go? I, mm, yeah, we're not proving. It's already demon. Couldn't demon in order to prove a point. We're going to know what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong. Demon in order to prove. Okay, the Bible says be angry and sin not. That means when you're angry, sin is near. We're going to go, eat her, eat her. So we are talking about instability. A lot of it comes because of demons of anger, demons of pride. Proud people want to prove a point. Your silence means I'm on the right track. Raise your right hand. Say, Father, I need help. Even when I'm right, let humility kick in. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is saying, you, you can be right today. The customer might not see it, or the helper might not see it today. Doesn't mean they have to see it today. The reason why is because you are trying to make him see it today. Many times when someone is angry, they can't see it. You are trying to drive a point towards Mnanaasha. They will calm down and then also they say, but you don't ask when any asha. And remember, people with money have ego. Big one. As big as the bank account. And you are expecting them to react like you with small money. And small e or no ego. Maybe you don't like what I'm saying. <laughs> if you are negotiating with kings, you also have to negotiate with the ego. <laughs> Put it up there. The rich answer is roughly. So can I say rough? I do not matter. The poor man uses entreaties. If you are poor, you have to negotiate. The rich answer is roughly. The Bible already told you. 
but uda kuit uda kuit sana rough ne muna ne mari. Are you getting it? So kana sana mari. Calm down. Au na mari. Calm down. Kana wane mari. Una wane permission ne kuti rough issue. Kana sana mari. Usa ite rough. Slow down. And I can teach you because I'm one of them. I, I, I'm rich. He puts no thing on the feet. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Go to B Ford. You can buy a car for 1.5. E 1.5. Sorry, put you not take not take a motor. If that offends you, you can leave the church. Go away, pastor. Where is standard? Standard. To me, to me. Here, I set a standard for my sons. If I wait, to me, what would Joe wear? That only limit that Joe. Also, from Magani Mapata Pata. Don't be angry. There are poor pastors everywhere. You can go there. God uses authority. To show you if you're still a child, and sometimes authority will tell you what you don't like. Is it funny? Oh no no, he be a no no. Oh my, him do man no no. Ah, yes sir. Sorry sir. My apologies. Maybe he gets there. He doesn't see you. It doesn't mean you're not there. I, as your pastor, can say, "Why are you late for church?" Yet maybe I'm going to pass this church. You men of God, you are the one who was late. You are late every Sunday. <laughs> your boss is not your friend. You don't enter the market, sir. I'm teaching you what to help you on the marketplace. Listen, for, for people with real money on the marketplace, when they see people in authority, they bring themselves down. But also no shiners are online. Kune masses. But kune vanu vakura no zinini fees. Kakuda kupruva gaka bepauri. You don't gain anything by proving a point. Capture. And if you check all your key relationships that you lost, you dishonored someone. A person in authority, if you return their anger with honor, you kill the anger. But if you want to show more dishonor, he will show you you are not on the same level. This will help you in political circles. This will help you in business circles. This will help you even in marriage circles. Say instability. So the Lord showed me today. He said, I am sending people to them, but they are relationally unstable. So the people I sent, they missed the relationship. Don't they have to start another one? Why start another relationship when you can stabilize this one? Why start another relationship when you can humble yourself and stabilize this one? Why look for a new job when you can stabilize things with your, with your current boss? Why leave the church when you can stabilize your relationship with your man of God? All you need to do is man of God. I'm sorry I missed it. Please, it's been one away now. Please take me back by your side. What I need from you is help. Please don't be angry with me. What do you lose? No, but because you told your friends, I'm going to tell him. And then I'll tell me a screenshot. Oh, oh, never to me. So it creates relational instability. The result, thou shall not excel. You want to excel? Be humble. 
You have never fasted about. Can I tell you what you've never fasted about? Your attitude. You think it will just go away? There are poverty attitudes. You need to fight them. Some of poverty attitudes are impatience. Impatience is an attitude. So you just say fast, fast. When they are told the truth, they pout. Who do you think you are? So you must tell you what you want to hear all the time. No. Sometimes you come here, wake up in the morning, wake up at four, bath, get to prayer ship, and the apostle will tell you what you don't like. You can you tell you, you, you are not serious. What am I going for? It simply means for where God is taking you, you have messed up your prayer. I said to someone who would come out of a 21 day fast, you are not praying. They only told me later. Coming out of a 21 day, private one, I said you are not praying. I love it. If you are facing cases from 200 years, what is, tw- what, what is 21 days? Can I order a Johnny Nemotkari? Kufamba in 60 Ks an hour. I was Kufamba. According to others, Kufamba, but according to Korgwin, I was going to say it will take you too long. So if you keep praying on this level, it will take you too long. If you keep giving on this level, it will take you too long. If you keep fasting on this level, it will take you too long. So you need to step up because where you are going is not where everyone is going. The prayer of a business person should not be the same as the prayer of a clerk. There are prayer demands. What are called prayer demands for me as an apostle? Right now I'm tired in my body. I was woken up and I woke up. I didn't want to wake up, but I had to wake up and pray. Simply because if I wake up, prayer shift as a good so know where you are going. One of the biggest deceptions is not to know where you are going. If you do not know where you are going, no one can push you. If I'm pushing you, it's because I'm seeing something in you. There's no pastor in this country that tells people to give more than me. You think I don't know it? I know what I'm doing. Because the clouds need to fill up. When the clouds are full, they empty themselves. Didn't you, didn't you like that testimony? People in my house, most of them are male. Huh? I bought a house in this town. I bought three cars in this town. How long has she been here? Less than a year. So don't pray. Like your relatives with made destinies. With all due respect. Are you getting it? You are going far. You are going far. You are going far. The Bible says of Jesus, because he was the only one going to the cross. And he saw, the disciples in him, they prayed, I'm paraphrasing. But he went a little bit further. You might need to go a little bit further than your neighbor. Because where you are going is not a dollar destiny. Hallelujah. You might need to walk to the altar two or three times. Five dollars on the altar. Ten dollars on the altar. Twenty dollars on the altar. They will call it wastage. I call it destiny. Destiny. Provoking giving. Unstable is what? Unstable is what? Why water? Why water? If you put water in a bucket, it takes the shape of a bucket. If you put it in a box, it takes the shape of a box. This way. If you put it in the tub, it takes the shape of a tub. That means water. You don't go adopt as you So if you are a person who fits in, you are unstable. You are number one. You fit in there. You know everyone there. Mbawa. In church. Ah. Tape. My big. <laughs> everyone.
God knows that man. Why do you hit him everywhere? There must be places that are uncomfortable with you. Per adventure, oka zogera o bawa. Did that matter or tiso? Dance ya ko yob dem stare. Things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. Places I used to go, I don't go there anymore. Refuse to fit in like water. Refuse to fit in like water. Now, another instability I left, emotional instability. Every day people have got to check in with your mood. That's what they say. They check in. You are like the weather. It can be sunny and after 30 minutes it's very cloudy. I want you to pray about your attitude. Let, my, let me have control over my emotion. Someone said to me online, man of God, you help me with the prayer point of emotions because I am very emotional. If you are very emotional, you are very unstable. If you are very unstable, you will not excel. So the end game is we want you to excel. So we're going to deal with the root of the problem, which is emotions. Hallelujah. Remember I spoke about spiritual instability. What is to be spiritually unstable? season. You are a seasonal giver or an emotional giver. So, for you to give, to find a parent that you get to let them Nigerian, you talk to the number one, could you open? Because I'm number one, I open. It means you are not spiritually disciplined. A disciplined, who, who, who is a disciplined individual? Someone who does things without supervision. Why should you be supervised? Why should you be given an envelope for you to give? So a person with discipline, hello, they tell themselves it's time for you to give. You have received money, let's take where the tithing is mentioned or not mentioned in the church, that is irrelevant. But because I am, I am stable spiritually, I am disciplined spiritually, I know what is required of me. So, a disciplined person doesn't go by emotions. There are many emotional givers. And when they don't get a harvest, they're emotional about the non-harvest. A disciplined giver is not in a rush for the harvest. They know it will come. There's what is called the power of consistency. You can't be consistent. One person said he hangs around a lot of people. I don't. He says, men of God, people hate you, but they admit you are consistent. They admit that you are what? Consistent. Can people say the same of you? I don't know. Chinja, chinja. That's what we do this. No one will baptize. The next day, prophesy, Papa. The other day, we'll go and watch. Next week, we'll pack crown. Then we'll go and watch. We'll go and watch. We'll go and watch. We'll go and watch. That's not going to get it. The next day, you'll pray. Which one are you? Which one are you? And if you checked, most of the time, we're going to go to Rome, my pastor, of our pastor. You came here where you wear your shoes, no problem. I said, don't fold your hands. You left because I said, <laughs> why are you folding your hands? Then you went to wash your cups to put there. Then you were rebuked because you didn't wear the uniform. Jesus will come and find you a wandering wanderer. Be stable, be stable, be stable, be stable. I, I can't flow with unstable people. 
when you are unstable, we always have to find out what's wrong. And as and, and as far as Matara Ben Tanga was stable, Matara was saying in the Rombo is out. Ah, Lord Yebe. Grab a hold of your emotions as a believer. A soldier is disciplined. Twelve midnight, the blankets. Wow. And the master of Guru Chaur Pai. You throw away the blanket and you say, It is time to pray. And you begin to pray and pray and pray. You don't pray until you are tired, you pray until there's peace. When you feel a peace, then you go back into your blankets. And then you set your alarm for five o'clock. So that you can make it here by half past seven. No discipline, as you know. But, ah, ah, I think I got a head chase. Ah, Chirodega Ruka Naganeta. Meanwhile, that prayer shift is this one where you are getting help from instability and you miss it. Imagine someone who was not here or is not logged in. They've not dealt with the power of instability. Now, watch this. I'll say this as I close. When there's a demonic manifestation, right, it shows you the state or the condition that you are dealing with spiritually. If I lay hands on someone and they put their head down, it means there's a force that wants to keep their head down. If they cover their face, it means that they are suffering from demons that cover them. Are you listening to me? If I lay hands and your hands are like this, it means that there's financial what? Instability. If your hands are always shaking, there's instability. Now, if your hands are shaking like this, you can't grab a hold of breakthroughs. Are you, are you listening to me? So you need to pay attention to the, to the deliverance that is done on you. This thing of avoiding deliverance doesn't work. It won't have video, yo, yo. It won't talk like, oh, I'm going to go to the house. Go and check what she's doing about deliverance. Yeah. Une notebook. Can I go and go and go David? Nay, David. Nay, she's a type of nice thing. Ah, number one, my figure of apostle. Yeah, I'm just going to church. No, it means you know, I'm going to go and go and you have an anointing provoking demon. Honora point number one. Anointing provoking demon. That means you have potential. You have to talk in the natural. You have a rebellious demon. That's what you write. Rep. There are some very soft people here. Who can go down to put And when you look at them in the natural, you, you can't believe those words came out of the mouth of that sweet person. But that means that that spirit is inside. Waiting for a time. You also took it around fundis. If you manifest, could come back here. If you manifest and you do this to your hands, means So those are prayer points. What I'm teaching you is very profound. If you never manifest, it means that you have a hiding demon that is fortified. So you need to pray and not to say, Lord, thank you that I don't manifest. No! Lord, break the seal, the demonic seal placed upon me. Break it so that whatever is inside me comes out. In Acts 28, is it? Malta. Paul, he, he lit up some bunch of wood, little, and a snake came out. Hello? You need more fire so that that serpent that is hiding, it is destroyed. Acts 23, and when Paul gathered bundles of sticks, laid them on the fire. A viper came out because of the heat and fastened his hand. So you need to pray until the viper comes out. 
How many agree with me? That viper was there. There are vipers in your home that are not coming out because you are not praying enough. So when I say pray at midnight, it's not to help me. It's to help you. There are spirits that are just coming out when you're about to have a breakthrough. Then they bite and go back. And then they wait until they're about to have another breakthrough. They come out, bite, and then they go back. So all your breakthroughs are being beaten at the point of breakthrough. We're going to fight the power that is coming out at the door of breakthroughs. Kune nyoka zilo garapa gate jet. Kune nyoka zilo garapa gate jet. Chitakuri yisa nyoka itzozo. Because you are about to get in. You are about to get in. You are about to get in. No one hangs around where there's a snake. Uka ngozo ati pamba panga pande nyoka last week. Last week. Do not hesitate. Am I right? Am I right? So, there are helpers, watch this, that are being chased away by serpents. If you don't deal with the serpent spirit, the helpers will flee. Then you start saying, why are all the helpers fleeing? No, deal with the snake. Deal with the snake. Deal with the serpent. The Lord has just shown me, there are evil sacrifices that the enemy plans at the point of a breakthrough to come to your breakthrough. We are going to pray against every evil sacrifice that was done so that your breakthrough is aborted. So God will arise and will put you on the level that you've been yearning for. It's not greed. You can't fulfill destiny in poverty. You need a level of financial stability and safety. I hear the Lord saying, you are safe. You will see the rewards of this pregnancy. God bless you. We love and appreciate you. Amen. Be blessed.